I'm Joshua Bardwell. You're gonna learn something today. Don't freak out, safety, safety hounds. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm the camera's on a tripod. I am not driving one-handed. Okay, yeah, moving on. Uh, a few weeks ago, I released a video about truly unique flight controllers. Flight controllers that had something truly unique about them. And I said at the end of the video, if there's any that I overlooked, if there's anything I missed, leave it down in the comments. And I'll let you in on a little secret. That's a trick that YouTubers use because comments equals engagement. The likes and the dislikes, not actually as important as you think. Watch time and I th I, I've heard comments and engagement matter. So they really just want you to go down there and leave a comment. They don't really care what you said. Well, I care. I'm listening. <laughs> there were a couple that you guys pointed out that I overlooked and I want to throw uh, credit where credit's due. One of the truly unique flight controllers that I overlooked is the White Noise Synergy Board. Basically, it is a flight controller with solder pads on top where you can mount your TBS Unify and your Crossfire or your FreeSky receiver. And that's pretty cool because like, if you think about it, you got your ESC and a lot of people are using a four in one ESC and you got your flight controller and you got your VTX and your receiver and that's pretty much all your electronics, isn't it? So that would be basically all your electronics on a two high stack. The next one I got a shout out is truly unique. And I can't believe I overlooked this one. I did a video about this one. The know-it-all is not perfect. Just ask my wife, am I right? The next one I got a shout out is the Speedy B, the Speedy B flight controller. And the Speedy B flight controller is unique because it has a built-in Bluetooth module that lets you use the Speedy B smartphone app to configure it without ever having to plug in USB. And that's great for field plugging or even using in the, I guess, could you even do it with your laptop? If you just connected with your laptop, I don't see why not, but I haven't confirmed that. So the Speedy B app gets a, a uh, shout out for being unique for having a Bluetooth adapter. Although it's not gonna be unique forever because I have it on good authority that the folks at Speedy B would like to, they'd like to just put that tech on all kinds of flight controllers. They just like to see that become a normal thing for a flight controller to have. So I suspect we'll see more flight controllers in the future with the Bluetooth on it. But uh, at, for the time being, I think Speedy is the only one. And we gotta give a little bit of a correction to uh, something I said. I shouted out the Lumineer Lux F7 Ultimate as one of the first flight controllers to have camera switching, dual camera switching, and it also has the ability to turn the VTX on and off, which I gave credit to the CL Racing F7 for. Uh, I have to say, I'm being told that the Maytech F722 had the VTX feature first, and possibly the dual camera feature first. I have to look that up. I'll put that, put that in the video. Another thing people pointed out to me in the comments was that the uh, Strix Binary F10 which is a Helio-based flight controller with an F7 processor as its main processor. They pointed out to me that that is basically the same layout. It's not the same pin layout, pad layout, but it's the same sort of target as a regular Helio board. Just you took the F4 off and you put an F7 on instead. And someone said in the comments, in fact, if you know how to do surface mount soldering, you could desolder the F4 from your Helio, you could put an F7 on there, flash the Strix F10 target, and have essentially the same board. I think that's really cool, but I suspect that most of you will not be able to do that. So that's gonna do it. Few more uh, honorable mentions and things I overlooked. Thank you guys for pointing those out in the comment. My goal, as much as it might seem to you like my goal is to just look like the smartest guy in the room, that's a little bit my goal. My real goal is to give you guys useful, helpful information that helps you, uh, you know, enjoy the hobby more, make better buying decisions, that kind of thing. And so, however I can do that, whether I already know it all or whether I get the info from the comments, well, I don't care. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go, uh, I got to my destination. Actually, drove around the block once just so I could finish the video. Thank you guys for watching. Happy flying.